Six months after the release of Rumbleverse, the wrestling-based battle royale, it is shutting down. And this has left the fans of the game obviously pretty disappointed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now on the bright side Iron Galaxy, the developer is offering refunds to people, but a live service game not even making it a full year before completely shutting down is pretty shocking, even during what seems to be the live service apocalypse. So we have to wonder and ask the question, did Rumbleverse truly deserve better? Well, with the game shutting down at literally the end of the month, I figured we would hop into the Brawler Battle Royale for possibly the last time. So let's go ahead and hop on in. All right, so this is Rumbleverse. Before we actually hop into the game, I just want to show you guys the main menu if you haven't played this game, because this just looks like it's straight out of Fortnite. So if you aren't aware, this game was published by Epic, which also means it was exclusive to the Epic Game Store on PC. So maybe that kind of explains why they went with such a Fortnite aesthetic to kind of appeal to that audience maybe. But to me, that just kind of reeks of lack of creativity. Like, don't get me wrong. You can take some inspiration from Fortnite, but the art style and the UI in this game look like they could be a Fortnite creative map. And honestly, if I didn't know this game was shutting down or I hadn't heard of it, and you just told me this was a Fortnite creative map, I honestly might not even question it if I was just looking at screenshots because it really is that similar. Now the gameplay in this is fairly straightforward. Basically, it's just a 40 player battle royale. Right now we're playing solos. And the goal is the same as any other battle royale, just be the last one standing. The big difference is instead of guns, this is basically a wrestling based battle royale. So you can pick up up to two different wrestling abilities, and then you also have your basic abilities that you can see over there on the right. These little books are how you get your abilities, and then these potions are how you increase your stats. You can get as many stats as that little thing in the corner right, and that allows you to make your character a little bit stronger. You can pick up strength, stamina, and health pots. Now there are a ton of different items in this game. You can also pick up weapons that you can use, not guns or anything like that, but melee based weapons. And so there is a lot of weapons in this game, and I won't lie, I probably don't know most of them. And to be honest, if you told a younger me... Oh shit, hold on, there's a guy right here. Come back here. There we go. Oh, I'm... Here we go. Ah! I'm stuck in the corner. Oh, we <laughs> bull rushed him. There we go, there we go. I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Oh no, he got me. Shit. Ah! Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Ah, I'm gonna die. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, we're gonna go into superstar mode. All right, this is how you finish people off. The easiest way right here. Here we go. It's like your ultimate. Boom, look at that, 778 damage. The health bar in this game, you can see it at the bottom, is actually ridiculously big. And I wish you could see the health of the people that you were fighting, because you honestly just don't know how much health they have. Like, most of the time you can kind of assume that someone's coming at you with full health, but I mean, there is the chance that they don't. Oh my god, we're gonna die here. Oh my god, yeah, we got downed. We are literally dead. Oh, we co we're coming back. Ah! This person's actually pretty solid. Okay, well that was unfortunate. So when I was younger, I was actually pretty into those WWE games. So if you told me as a kid that they were gonna come out with an online multiplayer, basically just battle royale, that would have a bunch of different players dropping into a big map and you could use all these different wrestling abilities and weapons and stuff, I would have loved that as a kid. So I don't know if I just kind of aged out of that and that doesn't appeal to me as much anymore or if this game just doesn't really do it for me as much but whichever the reason is the game isn't bad per se but I feel like it just doesn't have enough there to hold people long term oh oh no he's oh my god he landed on that other guy leave me alone leave me alone oh he's gonna fuck me up Ah, oh, food, no food. Here we go. I will say I haven't really learned for sure what all a lot of these abilities do yet, which definitely doesn't help my case. Oh shit, I'm like, I'm out of stamina. Oh, there we go. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. There we go. Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, here we go. We got him. Come on. There we go. KO, baby. 
The game definitely has some charm to it though, like the combat can be pretty fun. Although I've mostly only played solos, I could see some of the combos getting kind of frustrating if, if you were playing some of the team modes, if you played against good players. I'm not totally sure on that, because like I said, I've mostly been playing solos, but I don't know. Obviously too, since this game was published by Epic, it was only on the Epic Game Store, and they never tried to put it on Steam or anything, they just shut it down. So who knows if this had come out on Steam when the game- oh shit. I can't see. I hate this too. These there's all these bushes and stuff in the game and this is fucking annoying. Okay. Yeah. The foliage is something else in this game that definitely annoys me because as you saw in that last death there, sometimes on both ends like people will just end up in the foliage and you literally can't see them, which is pretty frustrating. And that foliage is like all over the map. And I don't know, it just gets pretty annoying during combat. I do feel like this game has a really high like learning curve because I feel like to effectively play this, you kind of have to know which of the, what all these abilities do off the top of your head. So one, you know like which ones to pick up and which ones to use and how to use them, but also to kind of combat what you're seeing. And that can be definitely be harder for newer players to kind of pick all that up and maybe that was less of an issue when the game had a bigger player base, but it does kind of seem like an issue now, but maybe I just suck. I do think this kind of goes to show that I know this game was literally published by Epic, so it wasn't going to be on Steam. I feel like multiplayer games, especially like live service free to play ones, just need to be on Steam. Now, I don't know the player base of this game on console, so maybe it just didn't really hit anywhere, but I feel like putting these multiplayer games on Epic, the Epic Store alone, just is a recipe to not have a big player base on PC, because yeah, sure, like, obviously Fortnite is huge, but there's not many multiplayer games that are very big on the Epic Store, besides Fortnite and Rocket League, which was a game that was already big, like, before they purchased it, you know? No! I do think one thing that this game really does show is just how much live service games kind of stink these days because it's like if the game does well it's really cool but it's like the moment it starts failing the games just go offline and become completely unplayable i guess that's the same when they would shut off servers for multiplayer games back in the day but it feels worse with a live service game where you have all these skins and everything and this game is obviously offering refunds but still here we go yes we got him or her yes there we go that's one Knockout, let's go. <laughs> this is my only hope. Dang it. At least we got top three. I think the skill gap in this game is a lot bigger than I realized. Oh my god, we just keep clashing. Here we go. Help me out, help me out. Oh, so, <laughs> we're just ganging up on this person. Chase him down. Alright, I'm here. Oh, we got the double slap. Oh, we downed one. Haha, -ha, there we go. Alright, I only got me and this one teammate left. Oh, wait, look at all these people. No, I just want to grab some wood. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got him. Nice. Ow, I always got hit by like a fucking chair. Dude, that's the poison sumo slap in action. Oh no, we're gonna die. We gotta get out of here. We got 14 health. Don't attack me, I'm eating a burger. I'm here. Aha! <laughs> yes, dude, I downed him. Me and my teammate are going the distance. Oh no, I think my teammate's about to die. Oh no. I'm trying, buddy. Oh, I think those guys are together. Oh, I fucking whiffed. No. No, there's another one now. Oh my god, a whole crew. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for Rumbleverse. Honestly, the game is kind of fun once you start to get a hang of it, but I do think it has a bit of a learning curve to kind of get over. Maybe that's kind of what played a part in its demise, or maybe it was just bad timing or something like that. Let me know in the comments below if you played this game and if you enjoyed it. Other than that, let me know what game we should check out next, and I'll see you all next time.